Alert day for us today. Timeline 10 11 Pitt Martin Bertie County, maybe as late as 3 or 4 o'clock, getting down towards the coast. Heavy downpours that could cause some poor drainage flooding as well as a damaging wind gust, but I can't roll out an isolated water spout or tornado. There's that much wind energy in the atmosphere. It wouldn't take a whole lot for those uh, supercells to get going. Already the radar is lit up for us here. We have been watching a few spotty showers. Onslow, Carteret County kind of headed out into Pamlico Sound right now, and especially the extreme eastern part of Hyde County along Highway 264. Seeing a brief heavy downpour there around Englehart. We're tracking this line here and within the next half hour or so that's going to start to get in towards Hamilton, uh, Windsor, uh, Belvedere, as well as a Hosky. So this is on the move, moving at about 35 miles an hour off towards the east. Temperatures right now upper 70s and low 80s along the coast. Areas west of Highway 17, we may be stuck in the upper 70s to near 80 at best before that shower and storminess gets in here. Maybe low 80s further off to the east where we are seeing a little bit of that sunshine. Storms off the coast by sunset tonight and we'll watch the skies quickly clear out by later on this evening. Those storms come to an end. Turn the AC off, open up the windows. Great sweet sleeping weather here over the next couple nights. Less humid in store for us tomorrow. Low to mid 80s. Lots of sunshine around. Maybe a few fair weather clouds, especially across the Albemarle Sound counties bubble up late tomorrow afternoon. But this is our weather for today. And then you see all that dry air coming down from the Ohio Valley in the Great Lakes. That's going to be a nice, refreshing Canadian air mass coming our way as we do head into this weekend. Driven in here by this high pressure with those north northwesterly winds. Still looking at the upper level system pivoting here across the northern Minnesota. Atlantic states again, a little upper disturbances coming through. I think most of that action will stay north of the Virginia, North Carolina border, but we may see a few clouds from time to time across the Albemarle Sound counties. Then as we head into next week, we'll have to figure out what else is doing. Where is it going to go and how it may potentially impact us here? So once we get by today, great weather in store for us for the holiday weekend. We start to get that heat and humidity back in here by Tuesday. And if else will have an impact on us, could be the middle to the end of next week.